Pošlite na ich dobu a v Čistách budú vám centrum deva a Gabriel Nyoni, Denzel Kumalo, Newman Kiani Chali, Safato Sibanda, as well as uh, uh, Tinashe Maganda. Harare City have uh, Maxwell Nyabuba Netengu, Hesting Chabusha, uh, Pritchard Mpelele, formerly with Wange, uh, Kareth Matake. Munyarazi Ndiro Nyenye, Telmo Pinyo. Denzel Chimweme, Protasha Kabwe, Lenmo Munyambo, Wilfred Muvirimi, as well as uh, uh, Martin Wengesai. So the referee for the afternoon is uh, Hadli Ndazi. And the Highlanders will be playing here from uh, uh, left to right, and uh, they will get us underway. Harare City in uh, yellow tops and the blue shorts will be playing uh, from uh, right uh, to uh, left. So Harare City in the city of Bulawayo, and uh, the brass band is here as well. It should be an exciting match. It's always a club chef when uh, these uh, uh, two teams uh, meet. A lot of changes as well in uh, the Harare City uh, team. Uh, the likes of uh, Ishmael Wadi uh, starting on the bench. Uh, Tendai Samanja also starting on the bench. I'm sure they're thinking of uh, the Chibuku uh, Super Cup final that they will play uh, this coming Saturday against uh, a Triangle United. So they will be facing uh, their former coach uh, in the form of uh, Taurai Manguiro. Uh, Pio in midfield uh, pushing it back then for Harare City. Ndiro Nyanya with a long one. Ambongeni Jovo with a clearance. And that one will roll out for a throw in. Uh, Kareth Madake to take uh, uh, the throw in uh, for Harare City. Uh, not a huge crowd then here at uh, Babafield Stadium. When the season started, Highlanders were pulling in huge crowds as Harare City pump a long one into the box. It's cleared away. McClive Piri uh, trying to uh, clear that one out. It will fall now on uh, uh, Ariel Sibanda. Gabriel Nyoni with a through one this time for uh, Tefato Sibanda. Still Tefato Sibanda signed by Highlanders. In the second half of the season from uh, Midlands uh, 2018 uh, Division One champions, uh, uh, Tail One, uh, coached by Joel Lupasha. And uh, Lupasha is watching his boy Tafata. He is uh, here. He is Protasha Kabwe now. And uh, the flag is up for offside against uh, Denzel Chimwemwe. Our analyst for this match is uh, Kudai. Madire, uh, well, Kuz is going to be an interesting one. Lots of changes uh, from both teams, uh, uh, especially for Highlanders. Adrian Silla starting on the bench. Uh, Peter Mudua is going to anchor, and uh, Andrew Beba playing the defensive role as the centre back. Uh, good afternoon, Zimbabwe, and welcome to PF Papafield Stadium. Uh, yes, the changes uh, has been uh, in. Uh, they've put more changes here, both sides, especially looking at Highlanders, where they've changed the formation. In terms of uh, the defensive formation, where uh, Mudua is just sitting in front of the, the back four, uh, I think uh, the coach went for grit there because Mudua is a uh, is very versatile in terms of winning the ball and even initiating moves. So that I think played a, a part in him selecting him ahead of uh, guys like Adrian Silla who is out on the bench. Uh, but the good thing about uh, the, these changes, especially on the Highlander side, Mozi, is uh, you look at the at, at the possible changes that that may come in. Look at people like uh, uh, Brian Banda. You, you, you talk of your Adrian Silla. You talk of your uh, 
uh, Nigel Mukumbi, those are game changers. So I think uh, that will, will come into 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 play later at the later stages of the game. But looking at at uh, uh, Arare City, William Manondo, I think is he has been the the, the he has been key for 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 Arare City, Muzi. Uh, they call him uh, Mr. Chibuko. Uh, he has uh, scored uh, 14 Chibuku goals uh, uh, so far. Uh, Diro Nyanya with a clearance for Harare City. And uh, Martin Vengesai breaking away for Harare City. Just one goal from him this season in the league. Uh, Vengesai, uh, he has not started most of the matches. Yes, Gabriel Nyoni. And that one going straight uh, to the goalkeeper, Maxwell Nyamupanetengu. Pio to Kabwe. Trying to pick uh, Wengesai. They can't keep it in play. It's the Kasulaga Premier Soccer League. And uh, yesterday, four matches played. Uh, Chicken in one, Black Rhinos one, Clemens Matau with his uh, first goal of the season. Wellington Tatarera uh, getting one goal for Black Rhinos. It finished Yada nil of Lawayo City in nil. ZPC Kariba uh, beating uh, Chapungu by two goals to nil. Uh, Tawanda Nyamand as well as David Temonjira, uh, the goal scorers in that match. And the uh, Herentals managing to beat Nukrit by two goals to nil. And uh, Nukrit almost... Uh, relegated now one can uh, uh, say although mathematical they still have a chance harare city to Kabwe on uh, the right side uh, uh, this time a tackle coming through uh, to push it out for a throw in it's a restart as well for gareth Madage for Harare City playing as the right back. He will want to impress. Madage. Dironyanya into the box. Vengesai trying to uh, sell through, but uh, Ariel Sibanda does well uh, to collect. Here is now McLeif Piri, the right back for uh, Chilamoya to Denzel Kumalo in midfield. Tenda in Jovo. Mbongen in Jovo. Peter Mudua playing the anchoring role uh, just like he did in uh, the Wallahi City match. McClive Piri with a long one. Uh, that one is uh, way out. Harare City push it uh, this time to the left side where there is uh, Ndiro Nyanya uh, partnering Lenmo Munyambo as uh, Maxwell Nyamupanetengo, the goalkeeper, who roll it out of the box. Uh, they push it back again uh, to the goalkeeper. It's a long one. This time uh, they're trying to a uh, pick, Wilfred Muvirimi. That's a good break then from uh, Harare City, and that one is uh, a push out uh, for a goal kick. Looks like Harare City would want to use lots of pace on uh, the right side. Yes, Muzi, because uh, that's the, that's the the best arsenal they have here. Yeah. Look at, at at players like uh, Chim Dududu. Uh, he's, he's got lots and lots of pace so uh, the marking has to be at par especially in winning that 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 ball before it reaches him so you really have to mark the space for to, to try and close the space the, the 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 space that he loves going into so they, they always has to be someone there monitoring his movements as islanders are attacking Moses. yes Jan Charlie now to Gabriel Nyoni uh, he is a first touch then uh, letting him down as uh, it goes out. 
Gabriel Nyoni, the Highlanders captain, has had uh, a good season, managing to get uh, six goals so far. And they will want to add a bit more. So Newman Sianishali to take the throw in for Highlanders. Peter Mudua is just lacking way out. Denzel Kumalo is outside the box. He'll opt for a long one into the box. They flick it back into play. Denzel can't get onto that one. A shot coming through from Makanda. That one just going over the bar. Nyamu Panedengu then throws it for Dironyenya. Munyambo. Munyarazi Dironyenya into midfield now to Pio. So far, they are enjoying when uh, they are exchanging those passing, passings. Uh, that is uh, Harare City Hastings uh, Chapusha. Nyampanetengo. Kabwe. They are calm on the ball. Harare City and the Lava uh, just start to knock the ball around uh, with those uh, patient build-ups. Hastings Chapusha. Uh, pushing it now to uh, Munyarazi Ndironyanya. A long one this time. Trying to pick Wilfred Muvirimi. And it's cleared out by Harlander's defender, Andrew Mbeba. Pritchard Mpelele with the throw in for Harare City. It's uh, taken away again by Munyambo, showing lots of uh, uh, confidence in defense. Uh, Dironyanya, good players. Uh, they push it now to Hastings Chapusha. He will look for an opening, but opts to play it with uh, Munyambo. Kabwe. Uh, the confidence is good so far from uh, Harare City, the way they are just uh, knocking it around. Here is Martin Avengasai. Rest out for him. One goal this season with a through ball then that is cleared away by Highlanders. And they will uh, clear the mess. Munyarazi Ndiro Nyenya. Tell more Pio to Pritchard Mpelele. Good pass here. Good knocking of the ball around by Arara City. Lovely. A switching play to the right side. This is a marvel to watch here. Across into the box. It's a bit hard. And the Highlanders will clear it out. Good stuff from Arara City. Muzi, there's, there's one aspect that people usually overlook. Uh, which is the aspect of warm up? If you if you you, you saw how Harare City were warming up, uh, there was so much intensity in that warm up, so much intensity that it's not surprising that they are dominating thus far because the warm up was there. Uh, and wh one more thing, I think uh, Islanders are, are, are playing one striker, so in a way, uh, they are allowing uh, Harare City to start the, the, the to, to start knocking it around in their own defensive threat. So, Islanders should be uh, should be wary of uh, sending because Harare City wants them to, to, to push people forward and break out of that area. So, at least if they keep on sending one person to try and mark the Mozi. Free kick for Harare City straight into Ariel Sibanda. Uh, this is uh, the 14th meeting, by the way in the PSL since Aurora City were promoted in 2012. And uh, Highlanders have won four times, Aurora City three times, and they've drawn six times. Here is now Tafata Sivanda. Makanda. A bit slow. It's actually Siani Shali. Harare City confident on the ball. Chapusha uh, pushing it uh, this time uh, for Matake. Munyambo this time uh, to Munyarazi Indiro Nyenya. 
Yeah, he's a tell more Pio losing that one, but uh, he was fouled, says uh, the referee, Hangli Ndazi. Munyarazi Ndiro Nyenye. Lenmo Munyambo uh, pushing it back now again to Maxwell Nyamubanetengu. It's been a decent season for Harare City that has been let down by uh, the numerous draws that they've had. 16 draws. And uh, if they had uh, converted maybe half of those draws uh, to victories, it will be something else, Kuzi. Most certainly, Muzi. Because, uh, look, at home, uh, as a team, you, you really have to try and get maximum points every time you play. But uh, if you look at another city, they were drawing most of the games even at home. So it, it, it kind of took them off the pace from the, from the, the leaders. So uh, they were not doing themselves any favor there. But uh, looking at, at, at this team, it's so compact. It's uh, the, 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 the movement of the ball, the, the movement of, the, of, the, of, the, of these guys on and off the ball. It's, 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 a, it's a marvel to watch, to, to, to say the least, Muzi. Uh, so far, no goals to talk about here at Babafield Stadium. No goals as well in the other uh, Kasulaga Premier Soccer League matches that are on Mtare City, uh, taking on uh, Caps United. Shabani Mine plays, playing FC Platinum. FC Platinum would want to win that one just to uh, confirm themselves as um, uh, the champions once more. Uh, Dynamos are taking on a uh, uh, triangle. Gezi taking on Bulawayo Chiefs. Denzel Kumalo. Tinashe Makanda. Newman Siani Shali. He's on the left side at uh, this time. Siani Shali. And uh, that one is blocked. Mbongen Zov. Left back. Peter Mudua. Tafato Sivanda. Newman Siani Shali. Peter Mudua. Tafato Sivanda. It goes out for a throw in. So we have played 16 minutes into the first half here. It's uh, Hollanders nil, Harare City nil. A lot of noise as well from uh, the Harare City brass band. One or two cheers from the Highlanders uh, fans when Highlanders are attacking. But so far, so good for Harare City. Uh, I think, I think Muzi, the, the supporters are putting too much pressure on Sianchali. They are forgetting the fact that he's playing as a lone striker. So he has to, to, to fetch for the ball at the same time be in a position to score. So sometimes here he is, Sianchali, and a good save, a double save, actually. Uh, and they, 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 they take it out of danger. Uh, my point exactly that Sianchali is, is, is supposed to fetch at the same time and uh, attack to try and get goals. So supporters, sometimes they, 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 they sort of demoralize these players. But they must understand the formation. Islanders is playing a 4-5-1 formation. So it means he's going to be a, a, a loner up front and he's going to do all the dirty work. So sometimes coming from marking and at the same time trying to score goals is going to be hard for him, Mozi. Uh, that was a scrambled effort that could have resulted in a goal for Highlanders. Uh, Newman Sianishali rushed. Gabriel Nyoni also rushed. Maxwell Nyamupanedengu is injured, receiving treatment. Uh, that's uh, the Harare City goalkeeper. Uh, four or five players from uh, Harare City rushing to have a drink. It's uh, under hot temperatures here. Uh, the same for Highlanders. It's 18 minutes into the first half. It's Highlanders nil, Harare City nil. So Maxwell Nyamuba Nedengo still uh, receiving a treatment. 
Uh, he's uh, the Arari City goalkeeper. Uh, Kelvin Shangiwa is uh, the reserve goalkeeper. Uh, just in case he won't be able to uh, continue with uh, the match. But he's been assisted up at this stage. Uh, Maxwell Nyamupanedengu. Highlanders nil. Harare City nil. It's been a good game so far. Uh, we have uh, seen some uh, a decent play from Harare City. Highlanders have uh, seemed to be under lots of pressure as uh, they try to uh, get into this match here. One or two stretches then from uh, uh, Nyamu Banedengu. As Mbongeni Jovo prepares uh, to take the throw in. Uh, Tendai Jovo will give uh, Harare City uh, possession on... Uh, the right uh, flank, uh, it was uh, pushed out uh, so that uh, Nyamu Panedengu could uh, receive uh, a treatment. So it will be interesting to see how this one will end. In uh, 13 meetings, meetings, this is the 14th uh, meeting, it's, it's four wins for Haaland, three wins uh, for City, and uh, six draws. But uh, all of uh, those uh, three wins are for Harare City have come from the capital, so they are yet to beat Highlanders here at Baba Fields in the league. Hastings pushing it now to Maxwell Nyamupa Nedengu. Munyarazi Ndiro Nyenye. As uh, that one will uh, roll out for a throw in. 21 minutes gone. It's uh, goalless. Ariel Sibanda. He's out of his goal area, by the way. Uh, quickly rushing back as uh, Tendai Injobu tries to uh, build it for Haaland as Mbongeni. Tafazo Sivanda. Tinashe Makanda. Peter Mudua playing the anchoring role uh, today, moving from his uh, centre-back position with Adrian Silla out. Andrew Mbeba, wide this time for McClive. Comes up with a good ball into the box. It's headed out by Harare City. Chimwemwe, Mpelele, McLeod stops that one. Makanda, uh, should have controlled that one, wanted uh, to place it uh, for Osiani Charlie. Time for Harare City to start an attacking option Munyarazi Ndiro Nyenye uh, Pritchard Mpelele Chimwemwe for Harare City Mpelele trying to get that one into the box here is Burimi just outside the box Kabwa with a shot Ariel Sivanda with a fine save out for a corner kick Protasha Cup with a fine strike. Ariel Sivanda alert to push that one out for a corner kick. Good save. That's that's really a good save, Muzi, because it's not easy to go down like that and parry that one into uh, for a corner because it was hit hard and low. Uh, so the goalkeeper had to be on his best and he, he, he really had to be alert because there are, it's usually such hits that end up in the back of the net because once you keep it low, it's very hard because for a goalkeeper, the trajectory to go down, you really need to have to go to go up first, then you go down. So it's not an easy reaction, Mose. Outside uh, the box now, Hastings. There is a shot coming through. Another fine serve from Ariel Sibanda. Brilliant ball coming from Munyabo. Corner kick, Harare City. And uh, Gareth Madage going for that corner kick. This is a good spell once more 
from Harare City. As now Kereth Madake calls uh, to take the corner kick. For Harare City. In a goalless situation. In uh, the first half of the season, Islanders won uh, the league match 2-1. They then lost 2-0. And the Chibuku Super Cup flighted well into the box. Ariel Tivanda punches that one out. And uh, Gabriel Nyoni will clear the danger out now to Siani Shali. And uh, the anchorman, Telmo Pio, doing very well uh, to go and uh, close in and uh, push that one out uh, for a throw in. Siani Shali. Chapato Sibanda. Denzel Kumalo. A bit ambitious. Over the bar. So, Makanda at times uh, joining Siani Shali in that uh, attack. Uh, but Arane City loving switching play as Ndiro Nyenye comes up with uh, a poor pass. Uh, Gabriel Nyonya has kept that one in play. Siani Shali with a throw ball this time for Gabriel Nyonya into the box. Tries to come up with a shot. And it's uh, blocked by... Maxwell Nyamuba Nedengu. He had space there, Gabriel. Unfortunately, uh, Muzi, whenever a player goes wide, the emphasis is on the, the center, the, those ones that are attacking from the blind side, they should attack the box. So there was a, a moment where, where, when Gabriel was pushing, he raised his head, there was no one attacking the box. So he had to take the shot, he had no option. But had, had it been... Uh, uh, Denzel, he attacked the box, he was going to lay it across, but then he, he was, he was uh, a bit, a, a shade too slow to react to that, uh, to that goal, Mozi. Still the goalless. It's uh, 27 minutes into the first half. Cowboy. Madage. Winning that one as Munyambo this time picks uh, uh, Pio. Uh, that's a good ball on the far side now for the overlapping uh, Madage and the tackle will come through. It's a Harare City throw in. Trying to use his pace on uh, the right channel is Gareth Madage. And uh, so far he has done very well. Although it remains the goalless throw in into the box. There is Mr. There is Munyambo, he loves to shoot. Rolls it this time from Penene. Pio, Penene. Can he come with a shot? He opts to pass. The flag is up for offside. Chimwebe getting into those uh, areas that might give uh, Islanders a lot of uh, problems. And uh, Penene this time uh, forcing Gabriel. Uh, to put the ball out for a throw in. A brief touch of Penene with a throw in for City. McLeod. Kumalo. Sedaki Dobi. Calls now on Inate Makanda. Sam comes up with a shot. Oh, what a goal! It's a Tinashe Makanda. 28 minutes into the match. He takes off his jersey. That's certainly going to be a booking. But he won't mind it. New signing for Highlanders. Fantastic goal. He gets the crucial goal coming after 28 minutes. 
He challenges one. Harare City kneels. Harare City were the better team in this match. But it is Highlanders who go ahead uh, through Minaste Masanga. And uh, he took off his jersey. Hatting as the team following him is uh, going to be a hook for taking off his jersey. But we won't mind for now. It's Highlanders 1, Harare City nil. The changes, Muzi. I told you about the changes. That tactical uh, change uh, where they pushed more men up front, uh, signs were showing. That's why I said uh, we will see Islanders going more into that box. The moment they, they started playing with two strikers, it's now giving the impetus to Islanders to attack. So uh, it, it was inevitable, really, because uh, the, the back four for, for, for another city, uh, they were opening up and, and they didn't attack. But the moment they, they, they pushed one man up front, they started pushing back again. And it's allowing Islanders to come at them, mostly. It's a, he's a first goal in Highlanders colors. Wilfred Mubirimi. It's a taken away by Tafaja Sibanda. Tinashe Makanda. Good play from him as they find Andrew Mbeba. But Clive Piri tries to find Gabriel Nyoni. Gets into the box. He's pushed. And the referee waves a play on. That was a hard push uh, coming from uh, Munyarati in Dironyanya. Maxwell Nyamubanedengo will push that one out for a throw in. So, match number 14 between uh, Highlanders and the Harare City. Highlanders with uh, the most wins, uh, four wins, looking for win number five, and uh, they have taken the lead here. Harare City with uh, three wins and uh, six draws, and uh, to make it difficult perhaps for Harare City yet to beat Highlanders in a league match here at Babafield Stadium. Although they forced the draws, uh, that was last year, it was goalless. Here at PF, uh, 2016, it was also goalless. Uh, 2015, it was also goalless. So plenty of those throws as well here at Baba Fro Stadium, as well as uh, in uh, 2012 when they came into the PSL. Highlanders winning in 2013 and 2014, and they're looking forward to add yet another win. Protasha Kabwe is the player who was injured, and uh, Highlanders leading this one by one goal to nil when uh, Harare City were in a way. The team that were looking dangerous until maybe those uh, are changes. Uh, sometimes in football, Muzi, you have to be positive. You, you need to uh, play purposeful football, whereby you 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 force the, the the your opponents into making errors. But if you look at Harare City, most of the play was in the in the in the middle of the park. And Highlanders, what, what they simply did was, especially in the first 15 minutes, they they allowed Harare City to knock it around at the back. While they, they, they just simply shifted. When it traveled to the left, they shifted to the left. When it traveled to the right, they shifted to the right. So in, in terms of position uh, football, yes, they were, they were keeping position, but they were keeping position in the wrong area. It was at all. Instead, it was it, uh, Islanders slowly crept into the match. As they, they knocked the ball around, they were not forcing the, the, the errors from the Islanders back for Muzi. Highlanders won, Harare City uh, nil, as uh, we have played uh, 33 minutes into the first half. Uh, we have seen some lovely play from uh, Harare City for the better part of the first half. Uh, but Highlanders picking themselves up and uh, looking uh, dangerous when breaking. And in one of those breaks, after 28 minutes, a fine goal uh, coming from Gabriel Nyoni. Here is now uh, Pritchard Mpelele for City. To Chimwemwe in the box. That one just going wide. Good chance for Harare City. McClive Piri is uh, lying injured. Gabriel Nyoni and the referee Haglin does he going to monitor the situation. The medical team is on the pitch now to attend to... 
McClive Piri, who is uh, sporting uh, some uh, pink boots as well. Uh, that is uh, McClive Piri. It's one nil. Uh, two Highlanders here at uh, Baba Field Stadium in Bulawayo. He's just uh, uh, picking uh, himself up, uh, being assisted by the medical team. Uh, McClive Piri signed from Angezi Platinum Stars. Uh, before that, he had turned out for Cholocho and also did play for Quelaton. And uh, this year, joined Highlanders, uh, being used mostly as uh, the right back, McClive uh, Piri. Andrew Mbeba, Gabriel Nione, the captain for Highlanders. McClive is back on the pitch. Denzel is calling for a pass, but uh, Makanda with a touch. Siani Shali comes to Denzel. Makanda again in the box. He's fouled. It's a penalty. Ndiro Nyenye with a tackle. Hagling does it. Point to the spot. And it's a Tinashe Mangande. Remember, Highlanders have missed three consecutive penalties. And at this time, they are giving it uh, to Ariel Sivanda. Will he change things for Highlanders? Different platform, Muzi. Different platform, and Highlanders are playing at home. He really, he really needs to convert that one. But Muzi, let's go back to those changes. Let's go back to those changes. Now, there are pockets in the, in the Arare City defense. The cracks are beginning to show. Why? Because, because of the two front runners. The moment the, uh, in football, they say the best way to defend is to attack. And the moment you put more men in front, you are forcing the, your, your opponents to defend. So this is exactly the result of that. And it's not surprising that Highland can go to, to, to nil up. As, as long as you have numbers. Because in football, you really have to strive to outnumber your opponent in every department, which is what Islanders are doing. And credit must go to Clive Peary. But Clive Peary is always helping in, in, in terms of uh, when he helps the transition for Islanders in terms of attack. So three consecutive penalties missed. The first one against Harare City, then against Shabani, then against Chapungu. This time, it's a different man. It's Ariel Sibandam facing Maxwell Nyamubanedengu to try and make it turn. He scores Ariel Sivanda. 36 minutes into the match. That tack of missing penalties for Highlanders. They have just erased it. It's Ariel Sivanda. It's turning to Highlanders. Good penalty, Mosi. Good penalty. As long as it's raising. As long as you hit the ball and, and it's raising. The goalkeeper doesn't have an X point. Because goalkeepers usually... They have an X point where they, they, they mark to say, I'm meeting that ball there. But with the raising shot, there is no X point. So it's not easy to save. Uh, maybe on luck and, and guessing the right way. But, but in most cases, when it's raising, you'll never save it, Mose. So 37 minutes into the match. It's Highlanders 2, Harare City nil. Well, they have had problems with uh, efforts from the penalty sports Highlanders against uh, Harare City. Adrian Silla missed. They then went to Maglas against Shabani. Adrian Silla missed. They then went to Ascot against Chapungo. Nigel Makumbe missed. And uh, this time, they had to give it to their goalkeeper, Ariel Sibanda. Uh, Sibanda scoring then uh, to make it 2 0. Chimwembe picking a knock. Here is Hesting Chapusha with an ambitious uh, long range effort, and another one just going wide. Until the first goal, you, you would not have thought Highlanders were going to be uh, in this uh, 2 0 lead. Uh, yeah, uh, Arana City were dominating play. 
But like I said before, they were dominating play in the wrong area. You you only you only need to dominate play on the in the offensive third, especially if you want to get goals. Uh, when when you dominate in the in the your defensive third, it's called game management. They were they, uh, probably they wanted to go to, into the second stanza uh, at at zero zero, uh, but it never worked for them because they considered two quick goals here. So it's pressure at Harare City Mosi. A bit of pressure then for Harare City. Here is Kabul this time for Martin Bengesai as uh, they push it this time to Madage for Harare City. Echimwema has done well to get onto that one. Looking from Pelele. He was waiting for a left footer. Uh, Tafata Sibanda did well to push it out. Pritchard Mpelele with the throw-in for Harare City. Here is Pritchard Mpelele once more. Cowboy trying to come up with the back healer. Pritchard Mpelele off target. Into the last five minutes of the first half. It's uh, the Castellaga Premier Soccer League as uh, Ariel Sibanda now uh, pushes it uh, to Tendai Jovo. Back again to Ariel Sibanda. Uh, Andrew Mbeba, the uh, defender for Highlanders, pumped forward this time for Siani Shal. It's headed away by Mnyarazi Ndiro Nyanya. And uh, that one is pushed out for. A throw in which goes uh, to Harare City. A uh, preacher Dumpelela to take the throw in. Sibanda heads it out. Mpelele. Oh, that's a light tackle coming from uh, Denzel Kumala. Another tackle from Peter Mudua. It's a free kick which goes uh, the way of uh, Harare City. Gareth Madage has come to the left side to take uh, that uh, free kick. Protasha Kabwe uh, is uh, raising his hand as if to say, can you bring it to me? Into the box, Ariel Sivanda will collect. McLeave Piri this time rolls it for Denzel Kumalo. Turning very well as he pushes it to the left. Where there is Mbongen in Jovo. Rolling it now for the goal scorer. The first goal that is Tinashe Makanda. Uh, Munyambo has done well to win that one. It's actually the right back. Hastings Chapu. Uh, Maxwell Nyamupanedengu to take the free kick for. Harare City were down here by two goals to nil at uh, Baba Phil Stadium. A much better crowd now uh, than when we started, but still, it's not uh, the best of the crowds by Highlander standards. Here is Tafaza Sivan. Wilfred Mubirim has also come in. Pelele will get the lost ball to try and create McLive, uh, just letting it go out for a goal kick. And Rumbeba, Tendai Jovo. Uh, the twin center backs trying to build it from the back. Uh, Denzel, that's a bit of a poor ball from him. Ariel is out of his goal area, though, uh, to pick Andrew Mbeba. Denzel and Rumbeba once more as uh, they uh, continue playing it back to Ariel Sivanda. Here is now uh, Tendai Jovo. Uh, there is always the presence of uh, uh, Peter Mudua in that uh, defense, central defense. 
so he always initiates the attacks so he's uh, anchoring and that's somehow missing in the Highlanders team here is McLive and that one will go out so two minutes before the break Guzzi it's Highlanders 2 Harare sitting in uh, the Highlanders uh, fans are up in arms here but uh, uh, the football rules say any head injury no matter you are you, you are you are attacking or what the referee is obliged to stop play so there was a clash of heads between the two uh Rare city players and the, the ref we had to, to, to stop play uh it might uh, sound queer but then that those are the rules uh coming back to the match Muzi, uh i'm saying uh, now islanders since they scored the second goal they're now playing with two attacking link uh, attacking link uh guys here in terms in in in, in Rukanda and uh and denzel so now it's 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 a it's, it's a question of coming deep into midfield collecting and and attacking so the the, the Arari city uh, defense is well always going to be found on the back foot because in as much as these players are fetching and attacking it's going to cause problems because they are always runs on the on the white side most so very crucial is that they try to uh, improve uh, Arari city uh, they had started uh, uh, very well, uh, but allowed Highlanders to come back into the match, and uh, it's now looking ever dangerous. And Highlanders are attacking as uh, they are looking for a fifth win over Harare City in the league since 2012. It will be an important win as well in terms of. Uh, their league position uh, that is Highlanders. Uh, the 45 minutes, according to our clock, we are now into optional time. So, Harare City resting quite a number of their players as well. Uh, Tendai Samanja, William Manondo. Well, William Manondo, I'm sure he's been kept uh, for the Chibuku Super Cup final. Against triangle, that's uh, his specialty. Manondo. So the goals from uh, Tinashe Makanda, as well uh, as uh, a penalty from Ariel Sibanda after Makanda was brought down in the box by Minyarat Zindiro Nyanye. He's uh, separating uh, these uh, two teams here. Ireland is leading by two goals uh, to nil. Hastings Chapusha. Martin Wengesai to Madage through this time for Wilfred Muvirimi. Martin Wengesai through one this time for uh, Telmo Pio. Richard Mpelele just outside the box. Cowboy, that one is clear out of danger. Tinashe Makanda. Looking this time for Gabriel Garisiani Charlie in the box. This time he's out of the box. Cross into the box. Cleared out. And the Nyanya just makes sure. McLeif. Denzel. Tenda in Jove. Mbongen in Jove. Still in Jovo. Still in Bongeni. Finding this time Andrew Mbeba. Uh, the Highlanders fans enjoying uh, this moment. Their team is knocking the ball around. It's cleared out of danger. Here is a Tenzel Kumalo. Andrew Mbeba. Tenzel Kumalo breaking just outside the box. Well, I wonder what was the intention there. It's just outside. And at the Soweto end, they thought it was on target. It's still 2-0. The movement of Rukanda, Rukanda Muzi is causing all sorts of problems. Because now they can't make uh, men mark him. He's so, so, so full of, of movement. Uh, 
At one point, you find him as, a, as an attacking link man. The next minute, he's, he's helping uh, Sianchali up front. So, in terms of, of, of going for him as, as Islanders are attacking Mozi. Sianchali trying to come up with a crosser. Uh, that is blocked out for a corner kick. Uh, they've gone at two after at the Baobo uh, Stadium and uh, it's in Gezi Platinum Stars. Neil Abulawai uh, achieves uh, nil. It was Neil kept United nil. Uh, they are in stoppage time at Rufaro. It's Dynamo Neil Triangle nil. Here it's Highlanders at two. Harare City nil. We're in stoppage time. Uh, Denzel Okumalo to take the corner kick for Highlanders into the box and then get it out uh, by uh, Harare City. And the uh, breaking now is uh, Denzel Chimwemwe. He has done well to beat Andrew Mbera. Lacking on uh, the left in uh, getting to the box as well is Martin Vengesai. Uh, that one will be a Highlanders uh, free kick. Now Protasha Cowboy can't believe it. Are looking good for Highlanders at this stage, they are leading here by uh, uh, two goals to nil. Here is McLeod, uh, the best pass is uh, from Denzel at times, uh, creating problems for his uh, defenders. And uh, that one uh, goes out for a throw in to Highlanders. Newman Sian Charles. It's McClive, he's also going close. Andrew Mbeba just indicating that uh, maybe McClive could take the throw in. And uh, Hans Jassi uh, blows uh, to end the first 45 minutes. A first half uh, uh, that uh, saw Harare City starting uh, strongly. And uh, they looked as though they were the team uh, that was going to uh, get uh, into the lead. But it was um, Highlanders who took the lead after 38 minutes. Uh, through Tinashe Magandam when he turned well outside the box and then came up uh, with a good uh, strike. They then made it 2-0 with a penalty from a goalkeeper, uh, Ariel Sibanga. Uh, so it's half time in this Castle Lander Premier Soccer League match at Baba Field Stadium, which is won by a different crowd. It is Highlanders 2, Harare City 0.